This is the Excalibur 1B uh, 155 guided artillery shell. It is an all-weather, uh, very capable projectile that is accurate within two meters. Give it a good target, it's going to hit the target whether it's eight kilometers or 50 kilometers. Uh, we can't like to call it close air support for our soldiers. Uh, it has been developed for a lot of different countries and it is in full rate production with the United States Army. So far there have been well over 8,000 of these produced for the U.S. Army. The 1A program derivative has been completed with 6,591 rounds produced. Those rounds have been fired in the theaters of operation with over 750 war shots. Very successful, uh, one shot, one kill. Uh, a lot of our customers call it a sniper bullet at 50 kilometers. This is an Excalibur 1B. It is a 155 projectile. We are taking the technology developed by the United States Army and we're migrating that into a naval application. The difficult or the complicated part of Excalibur is gun hardening of the electronics. And we have complete reuse from forward of the canards to the top of the projectiles. They will fit in a 127 millimeter or a naval 5 inch variant that uh, we hope to have the market that will significantly improve uh, the Navy's capability out of their Mark 45 gun system. The balance of the projectile, the warhead would be scaled and on the base we would be using the uh, Raytheon developed fixed base rather than the spinning base that we have on 1B and we do that for affordability reasons. One of the objectives that we have with this weapon is to keep taking every opportunity to take cost out while we improve accuracy and value for the warfighter. We understand that the market is quite significant, uh, upwards of 10,000 uh, overall rounds with uh, over 100 U.S. Navy uh, tubes on ships that this could be fired out of. We believe the international market is of similar size. Uh, our projections and our simulations suggest that we can triple the current range that the Navy has today with the gun system. One of the other things we continually do with the weapon is we work on improving its capabilities. Last May we demonstrated the Excalibur with a laser seeker on the front of it. For the Navy this year we will explore capabilities of putting a millimeter wave seeker on the front of it. So we don't want to be still with the product, we want to continue to evolve the mission space and the capability that the weapon can be utilized for.